Excellent. So, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Sanjeev Kohli, right here. So, um, have you ever come across the uh, Hukma Gandhi term? Uh, Hukma Sanjeev? Gandhi, yeah, you know those that sticks at parkies have to pick up litter? Yes. With a wee thing in the end. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi invented that, <laughs> and it was called the Hukma Gandhi 2000. <laughs> And uh, got lost in the mist of time. So, because I, you see, I think the problem with Burns is that people try and understand the words when actually you should just sort of see what it makes you feel like. I mean, there's a line in Address the Deal call which goes, Spurges about the Brunston cootie. Now, I don't know what a Brunston cootie is, and I've certainly never been spurged, but I think the Brunston cootie isn't a nice place, and Spurge is unpleasant. Well, you just saying that makes me feel violated. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, um, tell me, what, what, what does Burns mean to you? Well, I think for a lot of us, a lot of some of people of my generation, uh, Burns was forced out to you at school. And you, you know like, what it's like at school. If you're told to like something, you don't like it. You know, I mean, who likes math? Yes. Not even Borderman likes math. I mean, that's, that's all a lie. Uh, you have to revisit Burns, I think, um, sort of of your own volition. And, and I've done that quite recently. And I hadn't realised um, how good he was at uh, taking the perspective of, of really giving a voice, actually, to the voiceless. You know, when you read something like, you know, Ode to a Mouse, Ode to a Louse, you could even take the perspective of a female, and probably most impressively of all, he actually managed to empathise with the plight of uh, black slaves in America. Now, th th that was The Slave's Lament, which possibly is my, my favourite Burns work. Now, when you think of how monocultural Scotland was at the time, I mean, that's actually quite amazing, that he was able to transplant himself into someone else's being, and I think, I think that's why I've come to like him so much. Right, great. And uh, tell me, what, what are you going to do for us tonight? Well, in the spirit of a multicultural Scotland, I think um, I've got a real bugbear about Burns suppers. They've been completely impervious to change over the, over the years, and, and I think Burns would be someone who would actually celebrate change, would celebrate multiculturalism. So, uh, as a kind of homage, if you will, to Burns, although somehow some McGonagall's crept in, uh, I am going to perform my version of Burns, and, and I do apologise to any living descendants of Burns or anyone with two functioning ears. <laughs> but what I'm going to perform is uh, an ode to a samosa, if you'll let me. <laughs> We sleek it, cowering, triangular, tasty. Oh, what a picnic is in thy pastry. Breathes there a man who can resist thy easy demeanour, especially when it does consist of peas and quima. That's meant quima, I mean not this. Or, what wonders lie inside thy parcel? Why do I hide thy tasty morsels? Do you find our lustful bites so crude and hasty that thou should hide thy very delights in a flaky pastry? <laughs> Surrender thy charms, tarry no more. Give me the key to thy forbidden door. It was you, after all, who unlocked my sorry candor when all I craved was a peep at thy coriander. <laughs> Aloo and peas. Thy secret is spilled, but your dignity holds as my lust is fulfilled. Can any other snack ever hope to match thee, when not one of them has any point, and you have three? 